The State Minister for Primary Education, Rosemary Seninde, wants primary schools to change their mode of teaching if they are to achieve better performance. This was during the national placement exercise for those planning to join Senior One at Uganda Manufacturing Association showgrounds. Seninde expressed disappointment at some of the schools accusing UNEB for undermarking them. That is wrong and it's not true. Schools got what they have worked for. Therefore, as you select, as you do the selection, take cognizance of that. The exercise has attracted hundreds of secondary schools across the country from districts like Gulu, Lira, Ntungamo and Bushenyi looking to pick the best from some 500,000 candidates. The minister explained that the format of teaching has worsened in many schools, putting the focus on the highest marks at the highest price possible rather than getting the children to learn. Some of those schools that just, you know, charge high fees and at the end of the day they don't do the right thing, they only concentrate on testing children, testing children and making children just cram. She blamed both the schools and the parents for the poor performance in the recent primary living examination results. Many parents are the ones who are making these schools make mistakes because of the pressure they put on schools. Some teachers had a view about the minister's comments. Teachers normally aim at passing exams only. They don't give what the students need. They normally give them a lot of tasks. And then at the end of the day, they end up like cramming them. The way our education is designed is more exam oriented. And we are all competing, you know, and we will all love to produce the best out of this learner. At the end of the day, the children master the answers when they cannot reason. The majority of the representatives admitted that the general performance was slightly better than last year's performance, which is why some schools maintained their cutoff points for those seeking admission. For instance, schools like Mbar High School maintained aggregate 8 as their cutoff point. Namliango College and St. Henry's College Tov maintained aggregate 6, Lowili SS aggregate 10 for girls and aggregate 9 for boys. Other schools like Immaculate Heart Girls School are maintaining students with aggregate 6 or even better. Navisunsa aggregate 6, Maryhill aggregate 6 as well. Sandra Twinobrio, NTV Tonight.